tonight on Orange County Chopper. Sonic, we're America's favorite drive-in. We want to let you guys kind of go crazy. There's a lot of brilliant colors that we're working with here. A billboard for Sonic on two wheels. This Sonic bike's got so many pieces that I need to machine, it's going to take a bit of time. I think they look cool, though, man. So cool that they're hot. You ready for your starter switch? Feel like you're at Sonic. My camper. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Man! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What the hell is that? Oh, no. The chrome's coming up. It's over here, too. When's this bike got to go? Tomorrow. That ain't good. Todd. Todd, what's hey, up, Paul? Nice How to you meet doing? you. You too. Come on in. As you know, we've been talking to Sonic. They want to do a bike. We want to give a bike away. We want to do Orange County Chopper bike. We're really excited about it. We're America's favorite drive-in. We've been around since the 50s. Really? Yeah, it's, it was actually started in the mid-50s. And so it has this kind of retro feel to it. But what we don't want to come off as is kind of old-fashioned. We want it to be kind of retro 21st century. Mm. Obviously, the food is delivered by skating car hops, which is really unique to us. It really exudes fun and really committed to individuality and customization for our consumers. We're the masters of customization for food. You guys are the masters of customization in bikes. And so we want to let you guys do your thing. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see incorporated in the bike? I would love to see the red button in there somewhere. Absolutely. Right, that's, that's, that's such a, a big icon for us. One thing that's really iconic about Sonic is the red push button. You press the, the red button and bam, you get service. Uh, so it's kind of their signature uh, thing there at the drive-in. I think what we'll do is we'll do like a combination of sorts and get something for you to check out and approve. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. We are in a tight, tight timeline. I think we have a little more than four weeks, correct? And it has to go to California. Yeah, yeah San Diego. The Sonic bike is going to be raffled off to a franchisee. At Sonic's annual convention, four weeks seems like a lot, but by the time we design the bike, get it approved, mock up, paint, powder coat, and build, that's not a lot of time. We're really excited about the partnership with Sonic, and I think that it'll be above what your expectations are, so awesome. it's really cool to partner up with you guys. Can't yeah. wait. All right? Can't wait. Okay. Thank you. Thank appreciate you, Paul. it. Really right, appreciate brother. it. Since we're doing a bike for Sonic, I decided to treat my guys to some burgers and a little inspiration with a trip to Sonic. Oh, I am starving, man. Push. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Sonic. How can I help you today? I'm going to get the jumbo popcorn chicken. Can I get you something to drink with that? Let me get that tea, the blueberry. Can I get you something else with this order? That's good for me. Yeah, the next guy's going. Uh, supersonic cheeseburger. I'll take a New York dog. How about a cherry limeade? And a cider. And a chocolate chip. Shut up, fool. Thank you so much for choosing Sonic. Have a supersonic day. Yeah. Thank okay, you. I'm Thank the guy you. with the mustache. Have a super sonic day. <laughs> <laughs> this place lights up at night, too. Huh? Yeah. Every bike we do, it's an adventure starting off. I'm sure we'll get some LEDs on it for you. Yeah, totally. A little ground effect lighting. Maybe Jersey like, style, baby. Uh, light up primary and stuff. That'd be cool. And light that up from behind. Yeah, so I it like that. Because so our logo it looks glows. Looks like it's glowing. Yeah. Like a neon sign. All right. Hey, all right. Awesome. How you doing this morning? That's kind of tough to skate like that. Wow. You know, it's not, it's not easy. Here's some shots. Wow. Damn, dude. Has everybody got their stuff, or, or is there more coming out? I got what I ordered. I'm actually having a good time with you guys. <laughs> She has, like, legit yeah. roller skates on, too. Anything else I can get for you guys? Hey, do you do roller derby? I don't really In, do uh, roller derby. Uh, oh. Have you ever done it? No, but I will. Uh, will you? It's hard stuff. That. Anyway, it's enjoy, guys. In Kingston, Hudson Valley Horror. Let me make when sure the workers' that? comp insurance uh -oh. is up to par. <laughs> Go do that. When we were at Sonic and saw the waitress come out on roller skates, it kind of spurred an idea about roller derby against one of the local teams here. Are you serious? Yeah. You, you do it, right? I'm yeah, there. I do it. I'm yeah. there. I would love to get my ass kicked by a bunch of girls. 
Hey, we would too. Let's get back to the shop. We got work to do. Right. Let's do it. Uh, wanted a kind of a retro feel to pay tribute to their history, but yet a 21st century feel for more modern, looking forward to the, the company's bright future. And here we go. I knew a few things that I wanted to incorporate with this bike design. Uh, one, I wanted it to be a nice long chopper and have a sense of flow to it. I knew the color was gonna be real vibrant, and I knew there was gonna be a very large Sonic brand logo as an air cleaner. So we got? Well, <clears throat> I got this uh, rough sketch here that I brought in. With the Sonic Chopper, the paint scheme is absolutely crucial. So I decided to call our painter Ralph in. This really stood out as having like a graphic element to it. You wanna use all them colors? We have to, man. I mean, this has gotta be a billboard for Sonic on two wheels, you know? All right. When kids see this roll by, they gotta be like, that's Sonic. Sonic, baby. <laughs> There's a lot of brilliant colors that we're working with here. Just make a, a narrow. There's yellow, red, blue, greens. It's pretty extreme. This logo here, just put it right there. Like a 3D air cleaner? Yeah. I think it looks cool color. That's yeah. what I'm saying, like not bright, you know, loud. Essentially, when you see this chopper, it's got to look like that it was conceived at a Sonic restaurant. Now, taking this this outside shape here, I can do that. I can, like, That's how I was thinking. Put a pinstripe in there, too. And, yeah. I'm just going to do it rough real quick. I mean, I can move it, you know, around. Make so. it come down a little more so it covers more of the tank. You got it, man. So we're going to add some blue to that rear fender? Oh, yeah. So uh, to kind of ground the whole design, we ended up going with a cobalt blue candy-coated frame, you know, something that just kind of gave it a sense of balance. And then I'll say uh, press to start. Start. All right. Oh, those are so nice when they're new. Yeah. Sweet. The Sonic bike design has been approved, so we're going to get the frame up on the lift. Then we can start the mock-up and make sure all the parts are going to fit. Gosh, that's weird. What's up? Doesn't fit. Well, this is a good way to start. <sighs> Try it from that side. Oh. And don't mind the Andy C's. There you go. It's a special kind of axle. What would you guys do without me, huh? <laughs> Look, it's like a Met Sonic. Uh, the first thing we do when we do a mock-up is put the motor in and line everything up. For the Sonic bike, we're going to be using a 100-inch s, s motor. It's one of the standard motors that we do like to use here. The back tire that we're going to use is a 300 millimeter. It does give a really good look. Good? Yeah. There's a lot more sheet metal that gives you just options with paint and create different things using such a wide back end on a bike. We like to do a skinny front tire. Just gives the bike a real aggressive look and feel to it. Jason, Rick, Nick, Christian, Evan, come to Senior's office. Evan, sit here, because I want to talk to you, like, intimately. <laughs> we're having a safety meeting. Evan thinks that we're having a meeting, but really, we're here to play a prank on him. Nick, where are you? I am uh, bringing our building up the code by removing the trash out of our parking lot. OK. Senior lets Evan park his uh, camper in the OCC parking lot. Evan loves that piece of crap, so of course we're going to mess with it. Uh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, dude. Oh, no. Get him. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, 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 that just pushed over the wall. Oh my goodness. Dude, come on. Nick, where are you? Bringing our building up the code. Senior lets Evan park his uh, camper in the OCC parking lot, so of course we're gonna mess with it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, dude. Oh, no. Get him. Oh, oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, oh, my goodness. Dude, come on, man. There is two doors, bro. No, dude, they're in there, man. <laughs> 
Cody. All right, let it back down Don't slow. Don't drop it back. Put it back down slow. <laughs> You're a <laughs> dude. All right, all right, all right. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me... Oh, 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 easy, 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 easy. Dude, he busted. It's all right, dude. We'll fix it. <laughs> There's not, it's done fine. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> My camp is pretty much cream of the crop. It's a 1984 citation. It's fully loaded. The guys are jealous. Get out of the way. Look what you did to my wall. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Who's going to fix that? <laughs> Listen, yeah. I just want to tell you one thing. Everybody here feels bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a little collection for you. We'll put some money yeah, in yeah, yeah, If you could, oh, dude, just give me your checkbook. Not a problem. <laughs> you got right, any change? Jim Quinn. Hey, what's, what's going up? on? Package came okay. in from uh, Todd Smith from Sonic. The button! So, One of the ideas we got from our visit to Sonic was to use their iconic push-to-order button as a button that would actually start the bike. Let's see what we got. Sonic approved the idea and shipped us one of their buttons. And I can't wait to see what it looks like on the bike. <sighs> it's a button. You're going to have to make that part then, right? Yeah. Like the... Yeah. Um, we'll probably have to engrave it and color and fill color it. Fill we'll it, do a, right. an epoxy we'll, inlay. Right, OK. We're going to have to make our own bezel that would have all the artwork, and we should be good to go. OK. All right. We make a bezel. All right. Thank you. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to figure out the proper geometry on uh, how the radius of the rear vertex of the frame. OK. What are you doing, Jim? I am trying to figure out how to fit 20 pounds in a five pound bag. Oh, we're good at that, man. The sonic button yeah. is like huge. We got to try and figure out how to put this giant switch in this area. That sticks out way too far, and if I put it down, ends up way too far in here. And what Jason pitched him was that it would go here. Yeah. Well, that's like a big issue, huh? Why can't we put the coil behind the oil tank or something? Yeah, we can put the coil wherever we you want. You want to remotely mount the coil? Then you have free range. You that's can make that thing just, you know what I mean? OK. I mean, Evan came up with the idea of remote mounting the ignition coil. By getting that coil out of there, that makes room for the button itself. The bike will look exactly as it was designed and still function perfectly. All right, done. Good. I like your remotely mounting idea. We can make that happen. I will have it to you shortly. Thank you, sir. I got one goal by the time I leave here today, and that's to hug you. Yeah. Good luck with What's that up, one. Jim? Guys? We were just telling all senior that today's National Hug Your Boss Day. <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do is a little roller derby. What are these girls? Are they like professionals? They are professional roller derby. Mm -hmm. Ever since we went to Sonic, Jim got this roller derby thing in his head, and he's not letting up. So I guess we're doing roller derby. Now, they're asking for nicknames. All these I want mine to be the shocker. Well, I do a lot of Shocky. wiring. Give me a nickname. Larry. Furry kitten. The stash. The stash. stash. <laughs> Call me the epidural. <laughs> <laughs> the roller derby names that the girls have, they're all really tough and emote a feeling of terror in the, in the opponent. The epidural. Hopefully, when we roll out there with the these nicknames on our backs, the, the girls don't take it as too much of a joke. I want to be Thumper the Humper. How about me? <laughs> Uh, the mighty Quinn. Uh, we're going to get some T-shirts made up and see what we can do on the court, or derby, or track, or whatever you would call the roller derby floor. And I can tell you right now, you're getting your ass kicked. Uh, I can guarantee I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Really? I can't I'm even in. skate. Yeah, we'll push you around. I already feel pain. One of the things I got to work on on the Sonic bike is going to be the gas tank. I want to have this one actually hold you know, quite a bit of fuel. I start out with a piece of paper and doing a profile picture of it. Just getting the size and everything like that. Yeah, that's cool, man. It looks just like the uh, drawing. A little flat, though. Maybe yeah. add some shape to it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. 
Their logo itself has a very retro kind of feel and look to it. So we're going to do the gas tank like that, have some nice arcs and curves to it, and just keep it very low and long on the backbone. So it should be a really sweet design. Um, it's going to be big. It's going to have a lot of volume to it. And I think the customer's going to be really happy. There's got to be a happy medium between looking cool and rideability. Well, I'm not cool to begin with. So no, we know that. Know anything <laughs> about that. We're looking cool. These are clip-ons, dude. I know. It's crazy. And that's driving straight. You go into a turn. Oh, yeah, you're done. You yeah. got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the right. bars that were approved for the Sonic bike are just a little too far forward, so we're gonna have to redesign them and run it by senior. One of the first things I think we, we yeah, should do would. is like find a, an area where you're looking at that's gonna be comfortable. Put your arms up. You're not too crazy hunched over, but it's like the dude wants something really extreme, but it's also gotta be rideable. So really trying to come up with a happy medium, it gets tough sometimes, and we all like different styles. You know, maybe one hangers, maybe one drag bars, maybe you want something forward, something down low. You know, who knows? So just really trying to come up with a common ground, maybe a little bit different than what's drawn, you know, in the picture. I don't know, man. Big wish to ask the old man. Yeah, he's in there. Can we blow something up to get his attention? <laughs> What do you want? Oh, uh, no, they're messing with the handlebars. I know you wanted to be part of that. It's like father-son bonding time. There's no need to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know which direction to go with it yet. Jason drew him coming off of the tree. Can you see what you're talking about, though? Well, we, a couple different things. We, we can either come out this way and kind of wrap around in front and then back, or we can go around each leg like that or something. That ain't the look he's looking for. No, but I mean, we gotta make it rideable. He wants so a, a drag look. It's a, it's a giveaway bike, though. This and his fender was important to him. That's where we called you out. Whatever you gotta do, they gotta look drag. Right, okay, well, so... They gotta we... look racy look. Okay. The tank and the fenders have to be made exactly the way that Sonic specified. But as long as we keep the basic look of the drag bars, we should be able to modify them to better fit the bike design. How would it look if you notch this out so that it kind of right. goes right over the top of that? that that's and then blend it in. Right. You can do something like that. <laughs> it's over here, homeboy. It's over there. We have a bike out in the showroom that has a similar design for the handlebars, something that we might be able to pull some ideas from. So we're going to go out and check it out. That's what I thought. You thread it all the way in with the threaded rod into here with red Loctite. Right. Then you take the nut on top, and that'll squeeze everything together. Got it. Are these straight? And these don't even have to be. This has a slight radius to it, too. Yeah. So we're probably going to be very similar to this. I would think so. I mean, these are wide. It does have a very it's wide It's wide tank. for a sporty tank on top of that, you know what I mean? I would say 38. Yeah. All right, so we know what to do then. All right. That was cool. Yeah. All right, you want to get these things on, and then we'll yeah, get to see, just put senior, them on, see how they senior feel. Senior agrees. I think they look cool, though, man. I think they're simple and they're cool. So cool that they're hot. That's nice like that. We got the bars on. She's all done. All right. Why don't you check it out? I'm pretty confident, but you never know what Senior's going to say when you make a modification to the design. It's really kind of a crapshoot. It's good, right? All right. We got the bars on. She's all done. All right. Why don't you check it out? That's perfect, man. Good, right? right? Absolutely perfect. I really like that the guys work together to figure out a solution. Since Evan's become a full-on fabricator, the whole dynamic of my team has changed for the better. Wow, oh, nice. That's actually pretty good, dude. Let's get something bigger. Let's juggle them. <laughs> get that welding tank. <laughs> this Sonic bike's got so many pieces that I need to machine, it's going to take a bit of time. We have the rotor and uh, pulley, rotors and pulley. So I'm going to get Johnny setting up the wheel in the Haas machine while Jason and I go over the final design elements, and then we can immediately start cutting this wheel. So you want, you want an outline engraved all the way around? Right. So here's your letter Sonic. You drop down. Here's your little border. All I got to do is make sure that this is merged. Because this wheel has so many different layers and elevations, we have to make sure we get the thicker ones on the outside so we don't cut this wheel too thin. 
This wheel has to be perfect, and we have to do it fast. The only problem is, is this surface that needs to be 0.275. Designing this wheel is a game of numbers, fractions of an inch. If we cut this wheel too thin, it's going to compromise the structural integrity. There's absolutely no room for mistakes. That looks good. That is all I need. You don't need to model the rest of the rim or hub or anything. Yes. Good, good. Turn and burn, brother. Keep the aluminum chips out of your eyeballs. Safety glasses. There it is. All I have to do now is feed the program into the machine, and get over there and start it cutting. Excellent. Dude, do you think I should, uh, Got this exhaust approved by the man, because they know how finicky he is with the exhaust. Every time we want to modify a design, we have to get it approved by Senior first, but he's been busy all day. You want me to pretend to be him? Yeah. All right. In order to be Senior, his most noticeable feature is his mustache. Don't move. I've known him for years and years, and I've never seen him any different. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah. <laughs> I got to get a sleeveless shirt. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> here comes. Hey, you want to come check out the exhaust? So check it out, man. I wanted to get your approval on the exhaust, but you weren't around, so yeah, I figured I I'd was get... Gonna, I was going to give the approval. I was going to get Paul Sr. Jr. <laughs> That's the younger edition when it was before it was white. Yeah, right? There you All go. right, so what do you got going here? So, Sloppy. Uh, wait. He needs a sleeveless shirt, though, man. Then you're not a real Paul Senior. No. You're an imitation. <laughs> you're a fraud. How could you call me a fraud with a mustache like this? <laughs> this thing's great. There's a lot of people that try to copy me. Thank God there's only one of me. This is two-inch uh, mock-up pipe that I use, but we're going to be using inch and three-quarters. The exhaust that I want to do for the sonic bike is pretty cool. I want to run both of the exhaust tubes under the oil tank and then come out on the left side of the bike with turnouts on the end. You're going to weld brackets on there? Oh, yeah, yeah, This is just a mock-up. This is just so I can give you a general idea of what direction oh, I'm yeah. going when I'm actually making it. I'm stupid. Around. Never mind. Well, I didn't want to say it. Basically, Evan's a wise guy. He's always got to answer for everything, so I think every once in a while he needs a good shot in the head. I could hit you in the throat in like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Right, guys, let's break this thing down. All right. Seniors approved everything on the bike. The mock-up's done, so now it's off to paint and powder coat. We only have 10 days left on the Sonic bike to get it finished and shipped off to San Diego, and we still have a lot of work left. Grab the cart. Yeah, if you guys just want to grab the frame, it'd be great. With painting the Sonic tank, I had to figure out what colors to use from their logos and all that. The first color I shot was yellow because it was the lightest. Since the paint has to dry in between coats, it's a time-consuming process. As the base coat is drying, I usually start on the next color and mix it and make sure it's the right shade, which was baby blue. I have to check with the drawing and make sure the shade is exact. The last color is red, and then I'll do some pinstriping, and then it goes in the booth for clear. As soon as it's all dry, we'll buff it and we'll put it on the bike. Oh God! <laughs> We're dead. While the Sonic bike is finishing up the paint and powder coat. Jim organized a little friendly competition between OCC and the local roller derby team. Oh, God. Why are there so many of them? I think we're in trouble, boys. 
Welcome to our house. We are the Hudson Valley Horrors! Right. You guys think you're good on two wheels? Wait to see what we can do on eight. You look a little intimidated. You all right there? <laughs> I am so pleased to introduce the Derby world to the epidural. Yeah. Yeah. Shocker, come on up. Right. Just leave the mighty Quim. Jim comes up with some pretty weird ideas. Roller derby in the middle of the day. <laughs> Thank you. But they're always fun, so we're just going to go with it. Can I have the stash come forward, please? <laughs> yeah, <that's you>. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> We've done some interesting things here at OCC over the years, uh, but the roller derby is definitely at the top of the list. Let's get our gear on. Horrors, grab yourself an OCC buddy and help them out. They're ready for battle. You know, I could tell that right off the bat. When they handed us a mouth guard, that's when I kind of realized that this is pretty serious and I'm probably going to get hurt. <laughs> some derby action. What do you girls think? Yeah. Roller derby is not an easy sport. We take this seriously. We train really hard. We're competitive. Three, two, one. I'm going to get on. Basically, the game works, you have um, one jammer and four blockers. The jammer is kind of like the running back of a football team, and their job is to get their way through the pack and lap everybody else. All the blockers have to basically block all the other players and make a gap for you so you can skate through the other team and lap the other team. And when you lap the other team, you score points. First round, it was pretty terrible. We got our asses handed to us. Oh, damn, she's good. Oh, she's oh, trying. No, do not chase her. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. They're really tough. We're like uh, a bunch of newborn deer trying to run on ice, you know? Yeah. Oh. Get up. I've done a lot of crazy things in my time, but I'm not going to add roller derby to my list. <laughs> Great. I'm going to sit back and watch a bunch of girls beat the crap out of my guys. <laughs> so man up on the red team. Be sticky and annoying. You guys have the annoying down. By the time the first round was over, we were already losing by like 30 points. When the whistle blew, I just went for it. Go, Johnny, go! Johnny, go! Yes, yes, yes! Use your blockers! We pushed through, and we actually got some points. So when Johnny finally started to score some points, we are all pretty pumped up and motivated that we weren't going to be shut out by a bunch of girls. All right, guys, this is our last jam. We're down 73 points. Score is 76 to 3 right now. And we're going to score another 74 points. Yeah. Okay? 74 yeah. points. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going in. I got a plan. When the whistle blew, I just went as fast as I can, full throttle. I think I was using illegal moves. He didn't care who was in his way, he was getting through them. Go, go, go! Ah! It's definitely weird pushing girls around, but, you know, that's what roller yeah. derby's about. Get it, Christian! Yeah! 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 We had to do what we had to do to score some points. Point, point! They were really cool with us. I don't think they took it easy on us, I can tell you that. I just want to thank the Hudson Valley Horror for having us here and beating, uh, beating our asses a little bit. That was awesome. Maybe do it again sometime. Maybe come to our shop and kick your ass at something we're good at. Yeah. Well, it goes this way, right? You know, it's always nice to get your hands dirty. Nice and light. No, it's not heavy. It's gonna have some crazy rake on this thing. You ready for your starter switch? Sure. Feel like you're at Sonic. So I push that button while I get my food? You will. <laughs> and that'll light up just like at the restaurant. The Sonic button that Jim brought over is really nice touch. It's the same button that they use at all the Sonic drive-ins, so it really looks good. Be a weightlifter to carry this thing. It weighs like a ton. Dude, you know what? Was this tricky? You got to move that clutch cable on the outside. Here? Yeah. So no, I think outside. it's going to sit right in okay. there. Okay. Let's see what happens. You got it? Yeah. Kind of. There you go. Okay. 
go. This thing's got the lights on it, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Red's the right color. Push the button. Sonic bike is done. Now I'm going to take it out for a quick test ride. Looks good. Yeah, it rides nice, nice, man. Yeah. My handlebars came out sweet, huh? It's got a good look good. You got to lean a lot, though, right? Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, oh no. The chrome's coming up on the pipe. That ain't good. Oh, it's over here, too. You know, when Christian came back in, the exhaust was actually bubbling, which means it's separating from the steel. This chrome one's starting to go, too. Is it? When's this bike got to go? Tomorrow. What the hell is that? Oh, no. The chrome's coming up on the pipe. That ain't good. Oh, it's over here, too. You know, when Christian came back in, the exhaust was actually bubbling, which means it's separating from the steel. You know, it probably was the size of a dime. The yellowness is caused by the heat. It happens a lot when there's a sharp bend. This chrome one's starting to go, too. Is it? When's this bike got to go? Tomorrow. So that means you got to take them off of there. You got to send them back to the chrome. Oh, you got to pull the oil tank out. You got to pull the oil tank to get those pipes off, too. Whatever you got to do. Can't leave them like that. That's a big deal. Back in the test ride, and I noticed that the chrome on the exhaust started bubbling a little bit, um, kind of in a, in, a, in a tough spot. You know, it's a real tight bend in the pipe and uh, real close to the motor, so it's a real hot, a hot point. What about some sort of shield? No, it, it, I'm going to put a shield on, but we got to get the chrome fixed first. Yeah. Can't, I can't leave that. Oh, my God. All right, put it up on the lift, and let's just get that out. Get them off there. I'll get it out th today. Overnight them, and then... Yeah, yeah. Take overnight them back. The reveal is in a few days, and we have to take this bike all the way to San Diego. If the chrome guys can't get us the exhaust back overnight, we're really screwed. Rick. Yo. I got ah. these heat shields back from. Oh, sweet. Get these things on right away, right? And get, yeah. these, get this thing out yeah. of here. Thankfully, the chromers got the exhaust back to us overnight. But just to make sure that the chrome doesn't bubble up again, I'm going to put some heat shields for it and just put those over those areas. All right, which way is, which way is it going to be the best way to put these clamps on? Why does that clamp too short now? Hair up his ass, man. He's flying. Beauty. Looks good. A little color on there. The pipes have been re-chromed and the heat shields are back on. So I'm gonna ride it one more time to make sure that the exhaust holds up. Mm. The Sonic bike handles very well. Two of the big things that I look for in a bike is the handlebars and the seat, which are extremely comfortable. When you're riding a bike that cool, it just gives you a whole different feeling, opposed to just riding your standard bike. Thankfully, the chrome is fine, and now we can load up the bike and get it to San Diego. He's loaded. I'm 
here at Sonic's annual convention to unveil the Sonic bike. The bike is being given away to one of their franchise owners, but the fact that I'm here to deliver the bike is a total surprise. How about we add one more prize to the mix? Do you have anything backstage? Matter of fact, I'd like to introduce to you the prize. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Finia from OCC. Kind of a real unique feeling being able to ride that bike out on stage like that. The bike cool or what? Let's go! Huh? You want it? Yeah! <laughs> First, I want to tell the people from Sonic uh, thank you for choosing Orange County Chopper to build this bike. It was a great experience. We had a lot of fun. What we try to do is really capture the brand with this bike. I hope everybody likes it. This unveil is really fun, but I can't wait to meet the winner. Kevin, come on down. How are you? What's your goal say? Hello to Senior. Congratulations. When I saw Paul Senior right across the stage, I was ecstatic. I've ridden once in my life with my stepdad. Well, then you already have experience. That button starts the bike. We got permission to go a little crazy on this one, and we definitely have. I think the first thing that people will notice about this bike is the paint. But the painter did a great job of giving it that retro look without making it look dated. We wired the bike up with a bunch of red LED lights. It's a good way to bring attention to a specific area. The main focus is the start button, which is the same exact button you press at the restaurant to get service. Another cool thing is the belt cover. We machined their logo through the cover and put some lights behind it to make it pop. We use Sonic logos as the spokes for the chrome wheels, while their intake cover has their more traditional Sonic emblem. The chrome exhaust was fitted with blue heat shields that match the frame. For a little added detail, the seat was finished with a blue piping around the edges. These little details, along with the long rake, large fenders, and big tires, are just some of the things that makes this bike impossible to miss. I've done a lot of unveils. This one was right up there with the top 10. It was a, an exciting build for us to be able to build a bike for such a huge corporation. I'm so excited to have this bike because my grandfather opened the 71st Sonic in 1971, and he just passed away last week, and I miss him so much, and I feel like it was a wink from heaven because we can take this bike all around to our stores. What a great pairing to put this bike and Sonic together and just do something awesome for our group. Go! Next time, Orange County Choppers. Watch out. I want to have a dragon back. The dragon will definitely be a challenge. It's nuts. I've never seen anything like it. That dragon bike is going to be in at least the top five things that we've done in the last 11 years. Rick, didn't you say this bike was supposed to be off the lift on Friday? At least three days behind. I just want to tell you it's all on you. We only have six days left. It's going to come down to the wire. I don't give a how you do it, but you do it.